Hi everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. Um, in this video today, I'm going to share with you part 2 of completing square. So if you have not watched part 1, I would highly suggest that you actually uh, view part 1 first because that will form the basic of what we're going to discuss today. Let us take a look at the question. So, I'm going to work this question out showing you the step by step. First of all, you got to notice that the coefficient of x squared is no longer 1. It is in fact negative 1. So that is the first thing that we need to do. We need to factorize out the negative sign. And we're going to just apply it for the first two terms, the x's term. So it's negative bracket x squared minus 4x plus 5. And after that is being done, we can continue with the completing square. So we copy down the minus sign, have an extra big bracket. Alright, and the completed square form will look like this, x, because it's a minus sign, so there's a minus sign over here. So I draw a line, it's is a space for a constant, a number. So right now, we're going to focus our attention on how do we get this number. If you recall from part 1, to get this number here, you, what you have to do, you focus your attention on the coefficient of x, and you divide by 2. So 4 divided by 2, we get a 2. And next, um, we need to minus away an extra term, and this extra term is the square of the number that you came up with. So it's basically 2 square. Copy down the 5. And the next thing that you want to do is keeping the super big bracket. We're just going to simplify the things inside this big bracket a little bit. And now, this is the time for us to remove this big bracket over here. So, if you allow me to show you this, when we expand, we get a negative x minus 2 whole thing square. And when you get a minus, multiply by a minus 4, you end up with a positive 4. And you copy down the 5. And if we simplify this, 4 and a 5, we get a 9. So, well, I'll usually put the positive term in front so that it looks nicer. And anyway, that was the form that the question asked for. So, we are done with the completing square for this question. Now, um, let us compare it with the original question itself. So you notice that this was what we have as the answer. And we will compare with what was given in the question, we can conclude. A has the value of minus 2 and B has the value of 9. So, I'm going to leave you with a bonus question for you to work on to see if you really understand completing square part 2. So this is the question. Take about 3 to 4 minutes to get this question solved and I would love to hear what is your value for your A and B. Thanks a lot. I hope this um, video is useful for you. See you in the next one.